Hello everyone and welcome to the channel and here is my comparison between Google Assistant and Siri after the release of Android 13 and the iOS 16. The reason for this comparison is to see if there is any improvement on either side after one year of development so let's find out which one is better. First things first both phones are running the latest software versions available at the time of filming this video so let's start the comparison. In the first category I will compare which assistant is better in handling calls without touching the device. Starting with Google Assistant, you can answer phone calls directly on a speaker or decline them without saying the magic word or touching your phone screen like this. Answer. Answering. Decline. Unfortunately, none of these commands are available on iOS, but Siri can hang up phone calls which is not available in Google Assistant, and here's a quick demo. Hang up the call. So let's give Siri a point. Command number two. Call 155 on a speaker. Google Assistant can still do more like holding the line for you and show you the wait times before calling businesses, but unfortunately these features are exclusive to the US and that's why they are excluded from this comparison, but this didn't stop Google Assistant from taking the lead with three points versus only two for Siri in the calls category. And now it's time for today's sponsor. This video is sponsored by Wondershare PDF Elements. Do you have a PDF file that you need to edit? Wondershare's PDF element is a fast, affordable, and an easy way to edit, convert, sign PDFs, and more. PDF Elements is a multi-platform PDF solution for easy use. All you need to do is download the free version, install, open a PDF file. There you can edit text, add media, or add text portions to your PDF, and more. You can do those things also on the go through the mobile app. A free version is available along with an individual, business, education, and a bundle deal. PDF Elements is available for both Mac and PC, Android, and iOS. Link is in the description below. The next category is to see how each assistant can help you plan your next trip. How long does it take to Ajman by bus? Sorry, I can't tell how long will it take to get that location. I need a taxi to Dubai Mall. Sorry, I can't help you with that. Show me traffic to the Museum of the Future. Which one? The first one. You should get to Museum of the Future about 6.05 p.m. How much is the ticket to Egypt on the 21st of October? To who? To Egypt. How much is the flight to Egypt on the 21st of October? Here's what I found. In the trip planning category, Google Assistant answered all four questions correctly, while Siri only answered the question about the traffic, but nothing else. So the total is seven points to Google Assistant versus three points to Siri. Now let's move on to the third category, and here I'm gonna ask questions about the media, so let's get started. Play music. I like this song. What's the story of the Ticket to Paradise movie? Here's the synopsis of Ticket to Paradise. A divorced couple teams up and travels to Bali to stop their daughter from making the same mistake they think they made 25 years ago. Here's what I found. Show me the nearby show times. I found this on the web. Play iPhone 14 Pro Review by MKBHD on YouTube. Here's iPhone 14 Pro Review by MKBHD. What's the name of this song? But Google Assistant can take it a step further and identify songs by humming, so let me show you a quick demo. What's the name of this song? Sounds like one of these. In this category, Google Assistant answered all six questions correctly with one extra point for identifying songs by humming, while Siri only answered four questions correctly 
and it doesn't have the same home to search feature of Google Assistant. That brings us to the total of 14 points to Google Assistant versus only 7 for Siri. Category number 4 is to send messages using native and third-party apps and let's start with Google Assistant. Send a voice message to my other number. Got it. What do you want to say? Hi, how are you today? Ready to send it? Yes. Send this to my other number. Do you want to use SMS or WhatsApp? SMS. What's the message? Send my location to my other number. Do you want to use SMS or WhatsApp? SMS. I got my location. Ready to send it. For some reason, Google Assistant failed to send my location or the photo like it used to do before, so I'm not sure what's wrong here. Now let's try the third-party apps, and in this case, I'm gonna choose WhatsApp. Send a voice message to my other number on WhatsApp. Calling my other number. Send this to my other number on WhatsApp. What's the message? Send my location to my other number on WhatsApp. All right, what's the message? Google Assistant didn't do any of the WhatsApp commands correctly, and these commands I tried before with Google Assistant, and they used to work without any issues, but now there is something broken. So Google Assistant only got one correct command in this category. Now let's move on to Siri. Send a voice message to test account. Go ahead. Hi, how are you today? Send it? Yes. It's sent. Send this to test account. Ready to send it? Yes. It's sent. Send my location to test account. Ready to send it? Yes. It's sent. Siri did all the commands using the native messaging app without any issues. Now let's move on to the third party app. Send a voice message to my UEE number on WhatsApp. WhatsApp can't send audio messages at this time. Send my location to my UAE number on WhatsApp. I'm sorry, I'm afraid I can't do that. Send this to my UAE number on WhatsApp. Sorry, I wasn't able to share that for you. While Siri did all the commands correctly with the native messaging app, but none of the commands worked with the third party app, which is WhatsApp, which is a totally different story. In this category, Google Assistant scored 1 point versus 3 points for Siri, so the total scores are 15 and 10, respectively. Now let's move on to the next category, and here I'm going to test how each assistant can help you manage your notifications without touching your phone. And here on the Pixel 6 Pro, I have some random notifications from multiple apps, and let's see how far it can go. Read my notifications. You've got a new message from my other number on WhatsApp business. Hi, how are you? Do you want to reply? Reply. Okay, what's the message? I'm good. I got, I'm good. Do you want to send it or change it? Send it. As you saw, Google Assistant was only able to read my messages but ignored any other app. So for example, if you take a look here, I have a notification from my email or Gmail app. I have a notification from Instagram, YouTube Studio, but none of them has been read by Google Assistant. So let's try Siri. Let's take a look at the notifications I have on my iPhone and you will see plenty of them from multiple apps. And let's see how Siri will handle this. Read my notifications. You have new notifications from WhatsApp, Instagram, tips, and four others. Here is the one from WhatsApp, my UA number. I'm good. Next, there's two Instagram notifications. Want to hear them? As you saw, Siri was able to read all the notifications from each and every app I have, which is something that Google Assistant lacks. But at the same time, Siri didn't ask me if I want to reply to my WhatsApp message like Google Assistant did, so I will give one point to each phone. Category number six is about the camera commands. You might need to control your camera using voice commands if you are on your own with a tripod and want to take pictures of yourself. So let's find out which one will give us more control. Take a photo in 15 seconds. 
In this command, I meant to say 15 seconds because if you take a look here at the timer of the camera app, it only gives you up to 10 seconds worth of time. But if you want more, you can rely on Google Assistant to give you more time. Now let's try to take a picture in a different mode. Take a portrait in five seconds. I found this on the web. In this command, I was able to choose the camera mode I want, which is also nice. Now let's move on to the third command. Take a selfie portrait in five seconds. Also switching between cameras and choosing the camera mode you want was possible with Google Assistant. Let's make it even more complicated. Take an ultra wide photo. Here are some images of taken ultra wide from the web. Unfortunately, Google Assistant wasn't able to switch to the ultra wide lens. So let's try one final command. Record a front facing camera video. So in this category, Google Assistant was able to execute four out of the five commands I mentioned versus zero points for Siri. So the total comes to 20 versus only 11 respectively. Test number seven is to compare the typing experience using voice to see how far each assistant can go. Tomorrow is a national holiday. Let's do something. Party emoji. What about Dubai Mall Aquarium and Underwater Zoo? Or maybe a zip line somewhere. What do you think? Any other suggestions? As you saw here, Google Assistant was 100% accurate while Siri did a lot of mistakes. So the point goes to Google Assistant in the accuracy. But it doesn't stop here. Google Assistant can also edit text using voice commands and send the message without touching your phone. And here's a quick demo. Today after work, I will go to IKEA. Delete. Home box. Do you need anything from there? Clear. Would you like to join? Clear all. Undo. Send. In this comparison, Google Assistant did exactly what I want to do and it was even faster than typing the words myself. But if we're going to take a look here at Siri, all the commands I mentioned like delete, undo or clear, they are all being transcribed in the message without any action taken on the text. So one extra point goes to Google Assistant. Before ending this category, let me show you one more thing Assistant voice typing can do that Siri lacks, which is the ability to send emails and move between different fields without the need to touch the keyboard. Hi there. I'm waiting for the monthly report on the 15th of October as agreed. Set subject. Monthly report. Set recipient. EMAD. The first one. So this will give an extra point to Google Assistant. In the typing experience, Google Assistant was far ahead. It was more accurate with the ability to edit text, move between fields and more. So Google Assistant took three points versus zero points to Siri. And this brings us to a total of 23 versus 11 respectively. Now let's move on to controlling smart devices. I only have smart lights that can work with both assistants. So let me try some commands. Turn on wall lamp in red. Okay, red, it is. Turn off wall lamp in five minutes. Sorry, I can't schedule that without a home hub set up. Turn on wall lamp at 8 p.m. Sorry, I can't schedule that without a home hub set up. In this test, both were able to turn on the lights in a specific color, but only Google Assistant was able to schedule my command either by specifying the period or the time without any extra equipment. While Siri required the home hub for this, so Google Assistant took two points versus only one point for Siri. Test number nine is related to the clock commands, which include handling alarms, timers, and the stopwatch. Set a timer for five minutes. Five minutes, counting down. Set the alarm at 8 a.m. Your alarm is set for 8 a.m. Start the stopwatch. Now let's try multiple commands at the same time. 
Set a timer for 5 minutes and set the alarm at 8 a.m. 5 minutes, and we're starting now. You got it. Your alarm set for 8 a.m. Timers can't be set for a time of day, so I set your timer alarm for 8 a.m. One more thing Google Assistant can do that Siri lacks is the ability to stop or snooze your alarms by using your voice without the need to touch the device. So here is a quick demo. Stop. Snooze. Snooze. In this test, both were able to do the basic commands, but Google Assistant had the edge for being able to action two commands at the same time and allowing me to control my alarm using voice commands. So Google Assistant took five points versus only three to Siri, with a total of 30 points versus only 15, respectively. Now let's move on to the final test, and here I will compare how each assistant can help you remember things. Remember that I parked my car in B7 level 2. Where did I park my car? Okay, I'll remember that you parked here in the 7 level 2. Where did I park my car? Okay, here's your parked car in the 7 level 2. Remind me to call my friend after one hour. Sure, I'll remind you at 6.43 a.m. Okay, added. Remember that my keys are in the backpack. Where is my keys? Okay, add it to your test list. Where is my keys? I couldn't find anything called keys set up and find my M odd. In this test, both did well in setting reminders and remembering parking locations, but once more, Google Assistant had the edge because it can help you remember random things like where you placed your keys, which is something Siri lacks. So this takes us to a total of 33 points to Google Assistant versus only 17 points to Siri, which is almost double the score. So that's pretty much it for today. That was my comparison between Google Assistant and Siri in 2022. Please let me know in the comments what do you think. But for now, thank you so much for watching and see you the next video.